can go back outside twice. First, concentrate on routing those power and data cables from the U.S. segment along the length of Zarya into position at Pope and retrieve science experiments. And then, crew changes take over. In mid-September, Gradov's Soyuz crew departs. Yurkin assumes command for Expedition 37. And shortly thereafter, he greets the arrival of veteran cosmonaut Oleg Kotov and first-time flyers, astronaut Michael Hopkins and cosmonaut Sergei Razansky. After just six weeks together, they'll all be joined by cosmonaut Michael Turin and astronauts Rick Misrakio and Koichi Wakata, who arrive only days before Yurchik and Parmahano and Nyberg depart for a landing in Kazakhstan to wrap up their on-orbit part of humankind's ongoing effort at exploration. Fifty years from now, we will, we will use uh, the science and the technology we are creating right now, and, uh, and that's why I'm, I'm proud of the very s small contribution that I will be able to give in, in my six months increment because I think that I will be opening the doors for future generations to be able to go farther away. This is Mission Control Houston, back now with live coverage of the Soyuz spacecraft atop the Soyuz rocket at Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. We are now 8 minutes and 30 seconds away from the upcoming launch of the trio of spacefarers to the International Space Station. Here's a good view of Nyberg in the Soyuz capsule, uh, and uh, Fyodor Shikin is uh, obscured a little bit by the uh, several different stuffed animals that will be used as zero-G indicators. Uh, those are uh, among them gifts from his uh, daughters and also a gift from his high school teacher that will be used as a talisman for the, uh, the uh, mission that is designated Olympus by its commander. Uh, right now, uh, at the uh, 7 minute 58 cent to launch mark, uh, the gyros are in the uncaged position and recorders are being activated. Uh, the pre-launch operations will be completed uh, at the L-7 minute mark in just 45 seconds from now. At uh, 3.25 p.m. Central Time, the final launch down, down operations will go to auto, and the launch complex and vehicle systems will be ready for the upcoming liftoff. And here's another look inside the uh, Soyuz spacecraft from another angle. Uh, this shows at the bottom left of your screen uh, Commander Yershikin of the Soyuz vehicle, uh, who will eventually become commander of uh, Expedition 37 aboard the International Space Station. In the upper right-hand corner is Luca Parmitano, the European Space Agency uh, Italian astronaut, who's making his first flight to the International Space Station and his first space flight general. At this point, uh, we are six minutes and five seconds, counting down to launch. And at that L minus minute point, final launch countdown operations move into their auto sequence. That means that the launch complex and all vehicle systems are ready for liftoff. At this point, the uh, commander's controls become active and the crew members begin closing their helmets at the L-5 minute mark. And they will insert the launch key, and yes, it is a real launch key, in preparation. For the final vehicle activation. The ground teams will uh, command that launch key into its start position, commencing the uh, final stages of this countdown to launch. We can see Fyodor Yershikin uh, 
toying with the uh, talisman that he brought on board himself and uh, those that his daughter sent him. At this point in the countdown, the Soyuz first stage steering jets are in the ready to launch position and ground commands have been received from the rocket and they're indicating that all primary and backup systems are ready for launch. Just about a minute ago, the launch control reported that the range at Baikonur is clear and the Soyuz rocket is ready to begin its journey. Now we're at the uh, T-minus four minute mark and onboard systems have been switched to onboard control. The commander's cockpit displays and, con and controls have been activated and the crew members, as mentioned, are closing their helmets, which put puts them on suit oxygen. And we see that they have completed that work and they are on now suit oxygen. Fuel lines and other elements of the rocket engines are being purged with nitrogen to fireproof them by removing vapors and fuel from oxidizers. Now three minutes to launch. At uh, two minutes, 45 seconds to launch, the uh, booster tank is being pressurized flight. This It looks like a beautiful evening at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. As mentioned, about 70 degrees there as uh, spring begins to turn to summer on the steppes of Kazakhstan. At T minus uh, one minute and 30 seconds, the ground propellant feed will be terminated to the spacecraft. Should be happening right about now. T minus one minute to launch. At this point, the Soyuz is on internal power and the auto sequence is starting. The first uh, umbilical tower has been separated from the booster. T minus 45 seconds, the ground umbilical to the third straight stage has been disconnected. The launch command will be issued at T-minus 19 seconds. It's about 10 seconds from now. T-minus 15 seconds. The second umbilical tower is now separating. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero and lift off. Lift off of Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yushikin, and good first stage performance. Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight.
After 30 seconds, all parameters for the Soyuz rocket are nominal. About uh, one minute into the launch, velocity should be 1,100 miles an hour. Soyuz blazing into the night sky over Kazakhstan. seconds into the flight and all systems are go. The escape tower has been jettisoned. <laughs> 